Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this drawer animation in Twinmotion. Let's get started. The model that I'm going to use here is the base cabinet number 3. As you guys know, we created the model for the kitchen base cabinet with classic profile. And I provided 5 different kinds of base cabinet. And in this example, I'm going to use the third one. Also, if you guys don't know, it's free to download. There's a link on the description where you can download all of this. So let's start with the base cabinet. So download it. And then after that, create two copies. I'm gonna rename this as case and I'm gonna rename the other one with the drawer. I'm gonna double click on this. So now this is the case. So I'm just gonna delete this drawer here. As you know, as you notice, there's no holes on it. So what we have to do is go to front elevation and let's create a void on that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make it smaller. Like this. And I believe this is good enough. I'm just going to stretch it all the way out. And we're good with this. So now. We're just going to keep it like this and then we're going to open up the other drawing which is the drawer. So here I will delete everything except for, for the drawer. So before we close this we need to create the case for the drawer. So I'm just going to create an extrusion. Like this. And then with an offset of 12. After this, we just need to trim it. So now let's delete this top and then there let's create a split on here. So now we only need to trim it. So once we did the case, we just need to finish and let's go to floor plan and we just need to stretch it a little bit. So as you remember, this is the dimension of the case, the base case. 
and then lastly we just need to create the back of this so I'm just gonna create a big rectangle like this and go to 3d and fix it So once you're happy with your changes, let's now create a new project. And here we just need to load them. So load into project. So let's place it in the middle and then let's load the drawer. Let's check it on 3D. So it's good enough. So now we just need to close all of this. So save the changes. And then let's close this as well. Save the changes. And here, let's go to Twin Motion 2020 and see in Twin Motion. So direct link. So direct link opened and here is our model. So now what happened is even if you click this, you won't be able to link the animators that we're going to use. So what I'm going to do is click this drawer, right click on here and then copy and then right click again and paste here select copy and then now there's a copy of this drawer so what we have to do is to hide the drawer and then open up the copy drawer here so now there's a big difference as you can see you can be able to link this with the animator so you have to go to tools animator and then now we need to select translator and translator again I'm just going to place it right here. And then the next thing that you have to do is you have to select or click more. And then you need to select X. So the X axis so that it's horizontal. Go back to translator. Let's change the distance to 0.3. Let's change this to once. Let's turn on the trigger. And then let's check it out for now. Click more and then let's change the trigger zone somewhere like this so now let's go out and see what will happen
before we do that we need to link it so object link click this one and then select your drawer so now we just need to edit some parts like we need to move this And there you go. Open and close. So the next thing that you need to do is just change the materials. Let's put some white on this. And you can check that it's moving fairly well. And you can change the speed and all the distance right here thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below